In this video, I'll be showing you the new and improved presenter mode in Microsoft Teams. Along with the classic way when you share your screen with content only, there are now new options available. You can stand out your screen sharing, you can stay side by side, or finally, with the last option, you can be even a reporter. Okay, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you every new option available in the presenter mode. Let's go. Here I am in Microsoft Teams and I have this meeting to join. In this meeting, I'll show you every option that we have in order to share our screen. Let me join now this meeting. And here I am, hello everyone. So I can just turn off my microphone just to avoid disturbing. And now I want to join this meeting and let's explore every feature in this presenter mode. Here I am, now I can start to share my screen. So I can click on share content. And here we go. Now I have here this presenter mode available. And as we can see below this text box, we have four options. We have the classic content only, I have the standout, I have the side by side and reporter. Before to jump in every single option, I want to call out here the ability to set a background image with the button Customize. In fact, when you select Side by Side or Reporter, there will be available a background image. And with the Customize button, you have the ability to select and pick up the best image for you. For example, I will select this one for me and then I will go back. Now I selected this one, I can go back and I can start to present, to use the present mode with side by side and reporter. And this image that I selected will appear. Okay, it's time to share my screen now. This is the classic screen sharing with content holy. Let me click on screen share and now I'm going to share. On top we have this panel that allow me now to switch between every kind of option that we have in presenter mode, stand out, side by side and reporter. So I'm going now to select a PowerPoint presentation that I have. So basically this is the screen that I'm sharing with the attendees. Now, if I want to change something, if I want to switch between one presenter mode to another, all I need to do is came hop here with, with my mouse. I have to go over this area and then I can select stand out. This will change now. Here we go. The configuration that's the top of my screen. So as you can see behind me, I have my PowerPoint presentation and I am in front. So basically I can present better uh, because the attendees can see me. And I can even point out something in the in my PowerPoint presentation. So this is pretty cool. Now let's say that I want to switch to another presenter mode option. Again, I can go on top, the panel show up, and here now I can click on side by side, for example. This is always the window that open and display the preview. As I said before with the customize button, you can change the background image that appear here. So this is exactly what the attendees will see. I have my PowerPoint presentation and I am here side by side. So all I need to do now, if I want to change again, presenter mode option, I can open Teams again, but this is the most comfortable and fast way to switch to an option to another. So I can select, for example, reporter now, and now I am a little bit bigger. And so I can again point out in my PowerPoint presentation something or here we go, look at this nice guy. This is the best speaker in the world. So this is a very nice way to present to your attendees an important PowerPoint presentation, for example, or just if you want to share your screen. So I can maximize this window if I want, but then basically then you don't have a very great control of your PowerPoint presentation. So my suggestion is always to keep and minimize this window 
Maybe if you work with two monitors, you can put this window in the second monitor so you have always a look how it looks like your, your preview. So that's it. This is the presenter mode of PowerPoint. It's pretty cool and I'm very glad that this presenter mode is now available in Microsoft Teams. Last thing that I want to call out is the ability to open again Microsoft Teams and here I can stop sharing and again um, pick up another presenter mode option but the most comfortable way for my opinion is just go on top of the monitor with your mouse and select immediately the presenter mode that you prefer. All right, we have seen in this video how to use the new and improved presenter mode in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.